Hi folks, Gamebreak here, and we are finally back with the Black Death once again. Now I say back, but I've actually been playing the game on and off since ooh, 0.25, which was the update just after my last overview video. But it's here at 0.30 now, and I'm, I'm actually having the most fun I've had in a long time. So let's jump in and start to talk about the changes in the game, and there have been a fair few uh, I'm going to split this into a few videos, and this one is going to cover professions. Uh, on that note, uh, you can also see, along with some lovely splash screens, we have... I'm just going to pick a server, any server, it doesn't matter, that I'm not on. Uh, that'll do. That we have... A new... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Profession selection screen. Um, so that's right. Professions are now back in the game and they're a welcome addition or re-addition, depending how you want to look at it. <coughs> now, don't go getting too excited here. These professions, they're not quite as unique as you might think. Um, especially compared to the what I would say the original pans for them were back in 0.11. But they are a step in the right direction, so I'd say good job. Um, so, straight off the bat we have the beggar. Um, the beggar class or profession is, is making a return after being removed in 0.19. Uh, they were sort of introduced as a a must do thing in 0.12, and they were given a big boost in 0.13, and then in 0.19, the the whole idea of having to be a beggar was removed. Um, but now it's back, and I have mixed feelings here. I do like the idea of starting as a sort of scrotty low life and having to build up to something good, so that is a plus to me. But on the downsides are sort of twofold. First is you can't customize your character don't let this screen fool you you're stuck as a certain avatar which is the old default beggar avatar from 0.12 and that left a lot to be desired looking akin to Nosferatu or Gollum for the men and for the women I can show you well you have the same body as a guy and that's just naff um the heads, you can't choose. You can choose your gender, but hair and head, it says it here, beggars have reduced customization options. You can't change that. Um, and it doesn't matter what you choose for gender, you're not going to, you're going to have a basic head that's going to, I'll see if I can quickly find it for the men. Get to load in by any chance. That, that's what you're going to look like for the guys the women i'm not sure what the head is i can't remember i think it's short red hair and whatever um and that's it <clears throat> so that's that's the first issue you can't customize these characters the second issue is that you have to suicide to change your profession um which is something that was in the game and then removed the game because you didn't have professions and now it's back in the game which is pretty silly and means any progression besides skills are lost. Now, why is that bad? Well, the answer is attributes. Attributes are a new way to spend skill points, and they're a good thing. They allow you to give boost to certain areas, such as increasing strength to do more damage and allow you to carry more, agility to run faster, or health to have more hit points. Now, I'll talk about these more in another video, but suffice to say, attributes are a good move. But death of any sort wipes all attribute progression. Which is fine, except when you die because you have to. Hmm. Anyway, back to the professions. Um, beggar is not optional, so you're going to be starting here, like it or not, at least until you unlock the other classes, professions, whatever you want to call them. Um, so how do you unlock the others? Well, let's find out as we analyse the professions. So the beggar gives us a passive ability to beg. Um, now, all characters from, I believe, 0.19 to 0.29, I might be wrong on that, um, 
had the ability to beg and it was rubbish uh, before that it was only beggars um basically doing anything pretty much almost anything will net you more money so it's a total waste but you aren't going to be a beggar for long so i suppose it doesn't really matter beggars get two points in hunger and two points in thirst which as you can see as you hover over get hungry less quickly and get thirsty less quickly i suppose i can cover attributes now maybe i don't need another video um so what that's meant to do is the hunger and thirst ticks down slower you can have a maximum of 10 points in an attribute and that's the most reduction you can get or increase or whatever it might be um i don't know if these work because a lot of attributes don't work or didn't work anyway so i don't know if these do um but if they do it's good um but that's it that's beggar nothing particularly exciting excuse me <coughs> I have a cold again, but I've got kids. I say this every time I'm on the video. I have kids and they give me a cold, but that's what happens. So moving on to the doctor profession. Um, and this one is actually a lot more unique than others. Though if you've played 0.1 to now, it might actually feel a bit less special. I'm just going to change the head because it's really ugly. We'll do that and we'll do that fine. Um, basically, they're the only class that can dissect people and animals and harvest their organs and gain the experience points for it. Now, this is what I say about not special if you played before this. Previously, this could be done by anyone, but now you have to be this profession, as it says up here, to do this. And that actually makes sense and i like it um they also get bonus attribute points for health which means more uh, hit points reduced crafting time um, and chance of a good quality item and daggerman increased damage with knives um i don't know if that works not sure about that one um but not bad also uh, once you become this class you um get a bonus skill level for free in the doctor profession line which is nice um so to switch to this profession from beggar which is this is also true of all professions with the exception of one you need to attain five levels in one skill line now um it says here unlock by getting five skill points in medical that is not true it is five levels um it's just a mistake i believe uh because basically you need to get to level five and it will then say you can now become a doctor but to get to level five i think you actually need seven skill points so it's the x amount of experience points turns into one skill point and levels i think one two and three are one skill point and levels four and five are two skill points so you need actually seven so um that's not true uh unlocked by getting five skill points it's unlocked by getting five levels because the skill point is earned by for example i think level one well one skill point is earned by 100 experience points but it exponentially gets more um right so next up we have the artisan um this is basically the merchant from previous versions of the game the special ability here is you can sell your wares or items through um, your own NPC merchants. Now, I'm not sure exactly how this works as I haven't tried it, but it makes a bit more sense than the old merchant special ability of you set up a shop, which I also never really used. Um, and I like the sound of it, so to speak. Um, but other than that, they're basically merchants. So depending how this works, it could be quite cool. You know, you can make something high level and sell it rather than just give it to somebody. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Uh, um, they also get attribute bonuses for crafting. So reducing the time. Merchant tree gets better prices when bartering with merchants. It's a sort of interesting sort of thing. But at the end of the day, by the time you've got enough money, you won't care about that. 
and then daggermen, so increased damage with knives. Um, they also get uh, one extra skill point in their profession, so to speak, level, which is um, artistry, I think it's called. Um, so, for example, if you went to level five and then died and became one of these, you'd start with artistry level six, which is quite nice. Um, so, next up we have the cook profession. Um, they get a perk that gives them an increased yield when, I think they spelled yield wrong there, am I mad? I think that's spelled wrong. When crafting food items. I don't know if that increase includes drinks as well. Um, now, it's sort of, it's not a bad skill. Food becomes a non-issue after a certain point, basically. So it makes them not as good as you'd have thought. Um, and they gain, strangely enough, a extra skill line point in the cooking um, skill thing um, for free, which is nice when you become one. Um, what else? They get health bonus, hunger reduced bonus, thirst reduced bonus. None of that's bad. I just don't see the point in this particular class don't don't really know so we have next up the um peasant now the peasant is a class 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 or profession worth seriously considering for their very strong perk like the cook it increases yield but for gathered resources um that basically means anything you collect sticks stones or cotton and so on as far as i know basically it just has to be gathered from a node so it won't work with stuff from dead enemies or dead animals or just stuff lying around or in chests or anything but this is a that good perk to have early game and it actually keeps being useful as the game progresses there's no harm mining something and getting more of it um and quite good you can't sniff at two points in strength off the bat which is increasing your carry weight uh health agility doesn't work at the moment those two do that just meant to increase your run speed as far as i know don't work uh if i'm wrong let me know um so yeah i mean that's all good and obviously they get a bonus uh skill point so if you were level five in this as you died you'd be level six in the farming skill line which is also pretty uh, I'll be back in one second. I'm just going to have to go and clear my throat properly. Right, so we're back. So next up we have the smith. Ah, the smith, the blacksmith. The most overpowered, cheapest class in... And this is when I started playing the game. 0.11 to 0.18. Ah, how things have changed and you are a shadow of your former self. Um, so the perk of a smith is a reduced cost for repairs. Um, which still, though, has to be performed an anvil like everyone else. When money is a concern, initially, that's sort of helpful. But then the weapons you probably have won't cost that much to repair. Um, but late in the game, it's just pointless. It's a weak perk overall, and I wouldn't recommend it. But it wouldn't be fair for them to be able to just repair on the fly like they used to be able to do. So they got nerfed and they ain't as cool as they used to be. Fine. Um, uh, as you might gather, they get a bonus level to the Smith Girl line when you choose them. Um, and as you can see, they get an attribute bonus to health, crafting and heavy weapons. I don't know if that works. Those, I think, do. Could be wrong. Um, the Mason. Now, the Mason's a new addition with a new skill line that covers a lot of the base building mechanics and recipes. Um, it's worth noting anyone can learn the skills in this profession. So anyone can learn all the base building skills. It's just that the Mason simply gets the ability to build faster, which is nice. Um, and as the build time is halved, I think... Um, yeah, it did say yeah, half, twice as fast. 
it's nice, but it's not a necessity. Um, I'd like to have seen them use less materials for their build instead, but that's actually not the case. Um, as you expect, they're getting bonuses, a bonus level in masonry, um, and they get attribute benefits to strength. Great, as always. Crafting, nothing wrong with that. And merchantry, which is quite nice as well. So we have the Hunter. The Hunter's a Preston that was one of my favourites back from basically 0.11 to 0.18. But with all skills available to anyone as of 0.19, it sort of lost its impact a little bit. Um, to be honest, it's not exciting here either. Uh, its perk is double damage to animals and increased yield from animals. Um, wow. It's nothing exciting. I mean, the increased yield's all right, but the double damage, I mean, who sort of cares? Most animals you can kill just by running up to them and smacking the crap out of them. The only things you can't typically is deers. Um, but bowmanship's still really iffy in the game. Um, so there's nothing, just, there's just nothing really that great about them. Um, the bonus skill level is in the hunter line, duh. And they get an attribute bonus to agility, which as I said doesn't work, as far as I know. Hunger and bowman, which I don't think works as well, but I might be wrong on that. Um, then we have the penultimate profession we're going to look at, which is the bandit. Um, so basically, as you might expect, you need five levels in banditry to unlock this. And you'll gain a bonus level, so you, you'd have banditry level 6 if that was the case. Um, now the bandit perk's an odd one, because I've heard mixed reactions about it, but I've not tried it out myself. So, um, I've heard that some bandits do still attack you, I've heard that the monks definitely attack you, um, I've heard peasants attack you, <laughs> so I don't know what the actual case is here. Um, what I will say is I know for a fact that somebody reported that not only did the guards attack you on site, which they thought was strange, I personally think, well, if you're a notorious bandit, you're attacked on site by guards and you're ignored on site by bandits, that makes sense. Uh, but the guards pretty much chased them halfway across the map, um, which is stupid. Um, they also used to have this disguise skill which I don't think they have anymore, which would have been quite cool to go, well, if I put a disguise on, maybe I can sneak into a town or something. But I don't think that's a thing anymore. Um, but it's an interesting perk. I just think it's probably broken at the moment. Um, benefits to health, strength, and swordsman, which is weird that they then chose to stick an axe in the guy's hand. But he does look cool. Uh, you can get this outfit in the game, or this part of it. I don't know about those trousers. I don't recall seeing them anywhere in the game. Um, and then the final profession is the knight. Wow, doesn't he look cool? Not really. Um, so he's it, basically not as awesome as it sounds. Um, but that's what I'm basing this on is what I know of the knight, and that's not much to be honest because I met all the criteria, which is getting five skill points in all skills or five levels in all skills, and I couldn't actually unlock the knight. So I tried, it didn't work, it just was still greyed out like this. That may have been fixed, but it wasn't last time I checked. Um, so it's hard to say exactly how good this skill is, which is a gain a bounty of gold for every inspected person you kill. Um, now getting paid a bounty for killing an infected is nice, but late, well not too late on, the cash just becomes commonplace, um, so that's not really that beneficial. And the fact is you've got to kill infected and infected can, well, basically you get infected. If somebody comes, pukes on you, it doesn't matter whether you're wearing full plate armor, if they puke on you, you're infected. And then it's this horrible cool down thing that occurs and you have to basically wait it out, keep your food and health up high. So if you're somewhere more remote, you're screwed. Um, and that just from one guy with no armor or anything going, <coughs> pretty much like I've been doing throughout the whole video, um, coughing on you or whatever. Rats, 
rats can also um, infect you with one bite through full plate armor. Not very good. Um, so this makes it kind of not that excitable to want to do that. Um, so yeah, knights. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, they get bonus attributes in heavy weapons, strength and health. Again, don't know if the weapon skills work. Um, and I say I don't know if they get a bonus skill point uh, or skill level in any in, in skills because there is no knight skill line. So I'm going to assume that they get a bonus level in everything so if you were level five in everything and became a knight you would be level six in everything or they don't get any which i mean if it's the former then that'd be cool but if it's the latter then that sucks who knows anyway so that's all the current professions with some standing out better than others but none really suck and you can be any kind of character you want well except for doctor unless you actually choose to be a doctor um my standouts doctor because of its what it can do artisan because that's quite funky um peasant because double yield from resources is good um and I'd probably say Bandit for that skill if it wants to get it working. Um, but the rest of them, they're all right. But I wouldn't say that that, 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 all that are particularly exciting. But do I like the new professions? Do I like that they've added them back in? Hmm. Yes. Actually, yes, I do. It's actually a great step in the right direction and add some flavor, even if basic, to the choices for your character. However, it's worth pointing out, you actually lose one customization option that was added back in 0. Um, I forget which one, maybe 0. 0.19? Anyway, no matter, the thing that you now cannot do is choose the outfit for your character. Whereas before you could pick from X amount of tops and trousers. Um, uh, or with women, you could choose different dress colours. You now stick with what the game auto picks for you. Which predominantly seem to be ragged trousers for me with some sort of top so far. Um, I'd like that to be sorted. Maybe a button, because as you can see, all you can choose is gender. Hair. And head. Um, but if there was a button that you basically clicked and it said something like show no armor, show full armor, or something like that, I basically nick that for anyone who's played um, Elder Scrolls Online. When you first load your character up, you can be naked, you can have basic armor, or you can have like what would the top tier be. And they're obviously trying to show off the top tier stuff here, so to speak. Um, that would be fine. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, and like I say, it's still a massive step in the right direction. But it it would be nice if we could still pick our clothes. Um, but that, that's it. I don't really have any complaints. I have, I have criticism. But I like it. I like what they've done. I like what they've brought in. So, yeah. That's right, I'm ending this video on a positive. And an overall, well done to the developers. Let's see if it continues in my next video. So, as always, and I know it wasn't that exciting watching a static screen, but what else am I going to do? As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, Game of Work out.